Hi everybody and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships the YouTube channel and welcome to a new video and welcome to a new cruise news video for today Wednesday the 16th of February 2022. Now I'm sorry I haven't been doing videos in the last week or so. I've not been feeling too well but now I'm back to full strength and full energy. So I have three news stories for you today. Uh, a little bit different from each other. Uh, so let's get into it, shall we? Now, the first news is about P&O. Now, P&O has just uh, recently, uh, as of yesterday, basically laid the keel for its newest LNG ship, the P&O Arvia. Uh, this is a sister ship to Iona, which is already uh, sailing since 2020. And as part of the... Uh, building process of the ship, they have a special coin uh, that they lay into the hull of the ship, which gives the ship good luck. And interestingly, the coin that they've used, or the series of coins, are actually specially minted uh, coins from Barbados in the Caribbean, which will be the ship's uh, future home once the inaugural cruises get underway. So it's kind of pretty neat to see this uh, coin ceremony and everybody uh, in attendance at the Mayerwef shipyard in uh, in Germany and the fit out now will continue on in the it's actually the world's largest covered building dock which is kind of insane to see a cruise ship built in a garage you know you know how big ships are so yeah now the second news is from the CDC or the uh, Center for Disease Control uh, these guys are uh, being kind of dominating the news in the last two years during this uh, pandemic times. And they've just put out a new uh, kind of press release, if you like, or a new warning uh, where they've lowered their actual uh, advisories on cruising and their travel health notice has been lowered from level four very high to level three high. So it's not a big change, but it is kind of uh, interesting that they've reduced the... Uh, the warnings, if you like. Now, the actual wording that they've used is US cruise travelers are encouraged to stay up to date with uh, COVID-19 vaccines prior to travel. And if not, to avoid cruising altogether. Uh, if they are, at, if the, well, I guess the traveler or the cruise traveler are at increased risk for severe illnesses from COVID-19, they should avoid cruising even if they are up to date with their vaccines. So it's kind of a little bit of a, you know, tongue twister in their wording. So they're still sort of telling you to avoid cruising, but they've lowered the risk down from very high to high. So I guess that's a good thing going forward. Uh, it's still uh, not good in terms of the entire industry uh, where, you know, the CDC or the U.S. government is still putting out warnings against cruise travel. Um, yeah. Now, the third news is, as usual, my Carnival news. <laughs> Carnival is putting out a lot of news. Uh, and I've even missed a few updates in the last week since I wasn't able to put out some cruise news, cruise newses. So the uh, third piece of news is about uh, this year, 2022, marks 50 years of Carnival Cruise Line. And as part of that, they're calling it their celebration. Not celebration, celebration. Um, and cruises from March 5th coming up through March 11th. They're going to have some special uh, kind of themed cruises, if you like, where they're going to have a lot of throwback uh, events on board to cruising, you know, from years gone by. Uh, they're going to have some special deck parties. They're going to have some dinners in the dining room where they're going to bring back things like the Baked Alaska Parade. Uh, hopefully things like the... Uh, horse racing in the uh, in the main theater and things like that as well uh, and as part of these celebration cruises they're going to have ships meet up uh, out in the ocean particularly one off the uh, west coast off long beach they're going to have a meet up off the bahamas they're going to have one off cozumel between various ships that are sailing similar itineraries in that uh, week between the 5th and 11th of march uh, which is pretty neat. So they're basically going to do kind of like sail buys and do some uh, horn blowing at each other. Uh, so it's going to be pretty neat, I think. Uh, ending later in the year, the uh, inaugural cruise or the inauguration of the Carnival Celebration, 
which will be in November. So they'll basically be uh, home porting in Miami and at their newest cruise terminal, Terminal F, which uh, is going to be able to offer shore power, being that the celebration will be LNG uh, powered. And also when they pull into port, they'll be able to plug into shore power rather than using the ship's engines while they're docked at the terminal, which is kind of uh, quite unique. It's not a unique thing, but it's, it is for Florida cruising especially. Uh, up in Seattle in, uh, for Alaska cruising, they've been doing for a little while. There's a lot of push for basically when the ships are in port to basically reduce their uh, emissions and uh, the reliance on using the ship's power while the ship's in port. Uh, so yeah, I hope you like this cruise news, a little bit longer as usual. Uh, I'm back to full strength now. I was feeling kind of miserable for about a week and a half. So I hope going forward, I'll be able to publish these videos more regularly. Uh, thanks for watching I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel. Uh, there is a bit of a back catalog on some of these cruise news. So if you want to watch some older ones, check them out. Uh, if you did like the cruise news, give it a thumbs up. Maybe post a comment. Just let us know you're around. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you in a new video or hopefully on a live stream very soon. Bye, everybody.